Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. And in our past episodes, we've talked about such topics as goal setting, why values matter, aha moments. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about what I consider those significant events that take place during your career that help shape your thought process, maybe your strategic view of things, but also the way you tend to make decisions. So for me, I had two significant events that took place that became my aha moments in a smaller way to help guide my decision-making process or at least narrow my strategy and focus on how I made decisions. So let me tell you the first story. My youngest son, Andrew, was struggling with math in school. I'm home one night from all the traveling that I'm doing and my wife Debbie looks at me and says, hey, the little guy's struggling here a little bit. He's got this concept of greater than or lesser than that they're working on at school. Maybe you could jump in here, dad, and help him out. So I come over, sit down, I'm thinking about it. We're doing Rolick at work. We're talking about, you know, P&Ls. I, I gotta be able to help him out. So I'm talking to Andrew, Andrew about this concept of greater than and less than. And so it's really not going to well and so I take at the time he's playing hockey so I take two hockey pucks and I put them here I take three hockey pucks and put them here and I said Andrew what do you got here what does this mean and he's just staring at me so then I said I got to take a piece of paper out I draw the greater than and less than arrows and I said Andrew what does this mean to you he said fast forward and reverse and I thought to myself at that moment that this generation that I'm going to be managing someday is going to know more technology than I ever did and is going to be tech savvy. And if I was going to manage that group of people someday, I was going to have to be tech savvy. I can no longer count on the person that we have in the organization to come fix my computer or teach me how to do Excel or do those kinds of things. And so that moment I thought to myself, if I'm going to be a successful leader, and if I'm going to be able to lead this next generation of a people in our organization, I had to take it, you know what, I had to just suck it up and learn technology and try to become as fluent as I can. So that was a significant event for me as I started to think about motivating and leading people in our organization who are much more tech savvy than I ever was. Second significant event is a friend of mine that had passed away after a long, wonderful life and he's going through his father's things and he finds in a suit coat a ticket for a pair of shoes that he had taken to a shoemaker on Main Street in Woodbridge. And he wonders, I wonder if the shoes are still there. Shoemaker's still there. And so he decides, gets up enough courage and he's gonna walk over to Main Street and give this old shoemaker the ticket. Shoemaker looks at the ticket, turns, comes back and says, hey, They'll be done a week from Thursday. Now those shoes have been in there for 35 years. What's a significant event there? Procrastination is gonna kill you. We're all gonna procrastinate at different times. Sometimes the procrastinations are good, most times they're not. And so you wanna to get to the spot. The person who gets to that spot tends to own the spot and tends to carry the day. So those are my two significant events. A, understand technology, understand the teams you're gonna lead are gonna be tech savvy, and B, don't become a victim of procrastination. Until our next episode, it's been my pleasure speaking with you, and think about those significant events that take place in your life that help shape your decision-making process and view of how things are going to be in the future. Until next time, be safe and talk to you soon.